everybody. <laughs> You're welcome to my channel. So they, they say we should pr prove that you are a genius, but that is by the way. This there, that is what I saw in the question. We are asked to find the value of x. That is the question. Okay. So how do we go about this? This is what these three lines are parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. What does that mean? It means that no matter how far you draw them. They will never join, okay? They can never join. Now we have to find the value of x. Let's get to it. First of all, we need to discuss the type of angles that are formed when you have a transversal drawn across what parallel lines. First of all, you are going to have vertically opposite angles. This is vertically opposite. This one is also vertically opposite to this. And what does the rule say? It says that they are equal they are equal that means if this is 20 degrees this should be 20 degrees if this is 100 degrees this one should be 100 degrees okay because they are vertically opposite all right the same thing goes to whatever the same thing goes to this place and this place okay this place and this place they are vertically opposite and they are equal all right let's talk about the second type of angle that is formed the second type that is formed is what if you have um Something like this. They are called corresponding angles. Whereby you see two angles, they occupy the same position. They occupy the same position. For example, notice that this is a parallel line. This one too is what? A parallel line. Once you have two parallel lines drawn across each other, you are going to notice that this angle here is going to be complement, uh, corresponding to this because this is on top of your parallel line and at the left hand side okay the same thing with this this is also on top of your parallel line at the left hand side so they are occupying the same position they are corresponding and they are equal so if this is 30 degrees this should also be what 30 degrees the same thing with this side if you have something like this and this they are corresponding they are occupying the same position even this one here and this one here they are corresponding they are find the same position okay all right so that is corresponding angles now let's talk about the third type of angle that is formed is um what is it called alternate angles now this is the type of angle that you form by drawing a z a z okay now look at this if i draw a z here you are going to have angle here. You are going to have angle here, right? At the end of those, the pointed ends of that Z. This is what I drew. This one here is this. This one here is this. Notice that the pointed ends of this particular Z that I drew, all the, the two angles that are formed there are, are alternate angles. That is, if you have 20 degrees here, this one too should be 20 degrees. They are equal. They are alternate. Okay? It must not be something like this. Your Z must not be written like this even if you write your z in the inverse form that is like this even if you draw your z like this that is something like this like this and like this you are still going to get what alternate angles this angle here will also be equal to this angle here they are alternate angles okay so these are the three types of angles there is another one but it's not really necessary because i don't think we need it here we don't need it here so to cut our time short to cut our time short let us apply these angles that we got now let us relate it to this and solve this problem so relating it with what we have here first thing first you are going to notice that we have vertically opposite angle already so this one is vertically opposite so it means that this is 110 degrees okay now if this place is 110 degrees i want you to draw a z an imaginary z you are going to see what the corresponding angles that is formed there now let's draw the imaginary z like this like this and like this you notice that this one and the whole of this will be uh, alternate angle let me draw it out we have something like this like this and like this now this is our 110 degrees this one okay now remember that we have another line here this is our 35 degrees but the whole of this which is the other pointed end of our z is 110 degrees that means from here to here is 110 because they are what it is alternate to this particular angle so they are equal 
hope you are following me all right so if this place is 110 degrees then we can actually get this particular place why if you draw this line now notice that we have this from here to here is 110 let's call this place y if we call this place why i'm not going to clean this 110 so that you see what i have here this is what we have we have what from here to here as what 110 degrees this smaller one here is just 35 degrees okay but from here to here is 110 we are looking for this particular place now let's call it y you notice that this y is going to be equal to this y plus the whole of this place which is 110 supposed to give us 180 degrees angle on a straight line okay angle on a straight line so it means that this y which we have plus the whole of this from here to here which is 110 supposed to give us 180 degrees right so it means that our y is going to be 180 this plus 110 will cross over to become minus 110 okay so it means that our y becomes 70 degrees right so it means that this particular small portion here now is what 70 degrees i want you to see it very well so it means that this smaller portion is 170 degrees since from here to here is 110 degrees because it is alternate to this particular angle all right so having gotten this now are you seeing what i'm seeing <laughs> I know you have seen it. Okay, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, please, I would like you to subscribe to the channel so that you have access to my videos. Anytime I upload a new video, it will, you will be notified. So I advise you also click on the notification bell. Okay? All right. Now, let me show you why I was laughing because our, our result is already out. Now, let me draw what we have. What we have here now. Let me draw it. So this is what we have. We have this. This is the third parallel line. This is the X you are looking for. Now, from here to here now, we have this, right? This one is 35. And we got 70 degrees here. This 70. I'm drawing it out here so that you can see it clearly. Now, this is X that we are looking for. Can you see anything? Based on what I explained initially, notice that this particular place from here to here is the same thing with from here to here. They are corresponding. Okay? This is a... A parallel line this is another parallel line and we have a transverse here and this one is at the left hand side of the transverse and this one is also on the left hand side of the transverse on top of our parallel line so that occupying similar position they are corresponding so this implies that our x is also equal to this 35 plus 70 35 plus 70 which will give us 105 degrees and that becomes our answer thank you for watching we have a lovely day bye